Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the FB17 ICS ROM by Mad Doggin. This is version 1.0, it, it was just released. And it's basically uh, the stock FB17 that was posted by Calculin. And uh, with, with some changes, it is hollow themed. Uh, there's, had, there's some things have been removed such as the TouchWiz launcher. Uh, there's some tweaks and live wallpapers. Now this is, like I said, the original release, so there's still plenty more to come. And uh, yeah, only thing you need to, only prereq prerequisites that you need is to be rooted, to have Calculin's original FB17 ROM posted, or <laughs> excuse me, not posted, installed. And uh, if you don't have that installed already, then I have a video up that uh, I'll po I'll post how to how to do that, and it'll be in the description of this of this video. And you need recovery. And once you uh, install Calculance FB17 and FB15 modem, you're not going to have recovery anymore. So I'm going to provide another link for another video on how to get recovery on back onto your phone that's running Ice Cream Sandwich. So, as long as you have all of that done and you have your drivers installed, you are ready to go. Let's let's try this uh, ROM out. I'm very excited. All right, let's get to it. All right, when you click the link that's going to be in the description of this video that uh, it's going to say XDA ROM, uh, you're going to click on that. It's going to bring you to the XDA developers. And as you can see, FB17 ICS ROM by Mad Doggin. There's Mad Doggin right there, so make sure you thank him. And uh, right here is going to give you a little disclaimer, differences, issues, and uh, instructions. So if you want to read that, you can read through it. And basically, the thing, only thing you need to worry about is the download version. Click on that, and it'll, uh, uh, it'll download right away. So once that is done downloading, you are going to go to your, wh whichever folder you downloaded it to. And... See that it is there, it is the zip folder, we're good to go. Then you're gonna to go to your phone and you're gonna to have to connect uh, your phone to your USB cable. So let's go here, USB utilities, connect storage to PC. All right, so what I did was I went to settings and under wireless, uh, the wireless menu, I hit more went to USB utilities and then I'm ready to connect. So connect the USB cable, turn on USB storage. Okay. And my storage should be popping up on my computer. There it is. All right. <clears throat> Open folder. Alrighty, is this, alright, let's go to my computer. Alright, so pick either your internal storage or your SD card, whichever uh, storage location you want this ROM at. And then you're going to go back to your zip file, you're going to right click it. Cut or copy. Uh, I copy all mine so I could have them always on my computer. And go to your removable disk. You're back to your phone. And in your root folder, which is the very first folder you go to, once you click on whichever storage you want, either your internal or your SD uh, card, you, you're going to right click and paste. All right, this is 239 megabytes, so might take a while, it might not. My whole setup isn't the greatest, so it'll take a little longer for me, probably. Now, the reason why the flashing uh, Calculins FB17 ROM is a prerequisite to this uh, to flashing this ROM is because when you go into recovery, you, you can't wipe your data. You can wipe your cache and your Dalvik cache, but you can't wipe your data. So once you get to recovery, 
you're going to uh, just wipe those two things and then just flash this ROM right on right on top of the original stock rooted FB17 ROM that you have on your phone. Any second, this will be done. Come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Yeah, right there. Come on. My camera is about to die, and I do not want to do this again. All right, here we go. All right, once that is transferred onto your phone, you can go ahead and X that out if you want to. Uh, you're going to go back to your phone, turn off USB storage, unplug, and then you're going to want to turn off your phone. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Alright, turn off your phone. Power off. Okay. And after you power off your phone, you're going to want to get to your recovery, which in this case we should all have rogue recovery. So once the lights on the bottom turn off, it's safe to get into your recovery. So hold down volume up and your power button till your phone flashes. There it is. Let go. All right. There we go. Row recovery. All right. So what we need to do is go to wipe, wipe your cache, go to yes, hit the power button. Is wiping cache. Go to wipe Dalvik cache. Yes, it is wiping your Dalvik cache. Go back. Install from zip file. Whichever storage device you put it in, navigate to that one. And it should be ICS uh, FB17 ROM volume 1.0. So hit the power button, click on that. Navigate to yes, install, and then hit it. Now it's my first time flashing this ROM, so I don't know how long it takes. But uh, once it's done, I'll come back and I'll let you know what to expect. Alright, so that just took a few minutes. So from here, you're going to go back and then reboot system. Now, as with all other ROMs and everything else you flash on here, the first boot might take a while. So, unless it lasts for 30 minutes or more, <laughs> you, uh, you shouldn't have to worry. Alright, Android is upgrading. Now, uh, there is no boot screen. <laughs> I forgot about that. There, there's no boot up screens or videos, so... Don't be alarmed about that. Once you press reboot, it's gonna, your screen's gonna be black for a while. And like I said, I forgot and I thought that my phone, I did something wrong, my phone was messed up. But right when I pulled my phone away from the camera, it flashed onto this screen. So Android is upgrading. All right, and there is the ROM. All right, so far I'm, I like the lock screen, I'm liking the wallpaper. Oh yeah, it's looking looking pretty nice. Little tutorials. All right, I like it. I'm not gonna get through uh, showing this whole ROM right now. I'll just go into settings and show you what we got. All right, it's still Android 4.0. There we go. All right, FB15 and then FB17 for the kernel. All right, we got this new ROM on here. Yeah, it's, it's looking, looks pretty decent. I kind of like it. All right, so I'm not going to get to uh, reviewing this ROM in this video. I'm going to make a separate video on the review, and I'll make it, I'll make it right after this one. And hopefully I'll have enough time tonight to upload it. So remember, if you enjoyed my video, if you've enjoyed my past videos, and you want to see more of how-tos, tutorials, Android news, that's from the ACS report, 
and er everything else that AC Syndicate TV uh, gives you guys, then please subscribe to the channel. Go into the description of this video and subscribe to all my social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Head over to my blog if you want to read some articles. And as always, I hope you have a great day. This is Spotlight Guy, signing out.